Hey guys and welcome back. Um, I wanted to talk today because um, I'm just out in my Saab 9000 again and I just had the uh, yearly inspection so I thought well I had to put uh, my seats back in because I don't know if you've seen in the previous video I talked about how my 9000 I use like a pickup truck most of the time so I removed the back seat so that I have more loading capacity which has just been amazing but then I had to uh, put everything back in for the inspection and during that time I decided to clean out the car now with the seats back and everything uh, it's just amazing how it goes from just being this workhorse pickup truck that I just throw so much crap in and just really use it like transport a uh, goods vehicle or something so putting everything back in and making the car ready for the inspection and just it was just nice to having it like an executive saloon again you know so I just thought I'd show you around the car, show you a couple of videos where I had it loaded and stuff with the seats out. And I'll show you uh, pictures today of, as it should be, as a, an executive saloon. So let's have a look around the car. Welcome back to the Classic Saab Guy. So if you're a follower of my channel, you'll know that I use my Saab 9000 to drive around the harsh environment of the Swedish winter. It does get quite a bit of abuse. I do fully load the back of the car with the seats out quite regularly, pulling a trailer, driving in minus 15, minus 20 temperatures. The car never misses a beat. It's always been really great and reliable. But it's easy to forget when you use the car all year round as a pickup truck, just how actually luxurious it is when you put the seats back in. I mean, it is super comfortable and very spacious. In fact, it's hard to believe it's the same car. And even after months of being really abused and neglected and things just being thrown everywhere inside this car, just with a little clean and polish, all the interior surfaces just came up like new. As you can see here, even with the seats back in situ and then folded down into the load carrying configuration that this car was actually designed for, it still has a really, really good load capacity. So there you have it guys. Now uh, don't get me wrong, the Saab 900 in its hatchback variant is an extremely practical car. And before I actually got the 9000 with the hatchback, that was actually my go-to car, my go-to Saab uh, to transport things around. You know, it was the probably the most practical car I ever owned. I do think the wheelbase is slightly closer together at the back, so uh, it's not quite as wide as, you know, uh, the 9000. So the 9000 with the seats out does, I think, become a more practical car for uh, using as, you know, for loading and stuff. But the Saab 900 is a bit higher, I think. So both have their benefits, you know, and advantages. But it was really, uh, really interesting to like get the car back for a couple of days into its kind of saloon mode. And it's just such a spacious five seater. My kids were like, oh, we haven't seen it like this for ages, you know, and really enjoyed being in the back. So yeah, the, the 9000 really is like uh, a daily pickup truck and a daily executive saloon in the same car. So what do you guys think? I know I've talked about the spacious uh, and loading capacity of this car before, but I just think as an all-rounder, it's, it's just great. Well, what are your views and uh, what are your experiences with other Saab models? I mean, even my Saab 90, I use to, to the hilt for loading capacity, and that's a saloon. I mean, if you take put the seat down, you can shove stuff through the boot into the back, put a rack on the roof, you know, so. It's actually led me to perhaps do a comparison video of the various Saabs I've owned in terms of performance and fun and looks versus you know, practicality and reliability and just see where they uh, sort of come in the pecking order. I thought that might be an interesting video, so I might do that soon. But anyway, thanks for watching and I'll see you next time on the Classic Saab Guy.